Hi everybody, this is Gary Fong, and one of the big questions that we're often asked is how do you control depth of field or telephoto compression uh, on your photographs? In other words, how do I get the subject in focus and how do you blur the background? So most people think that there's really only one answer to that question and that would be the f-stop. Uh, the smaller the number after the f, the more blurry the background can become. So that would be like f2.8 is blurrier than f8. Uh, that number is smaller, and so therefore, the more expensive lenses, like this big white one here, cost a lot more because that number after the f is smaller. It might be f4 versus 5.6, and it would double the cost. And the reason why that's important for photographers is because we want to have the option of blurring out the backgrounds. And, but not only is the f-stop or the focal length important in blurring out the backgrounds using selective focus, but also is the size of the sensor. And there's three different sensors now. A lot of people think that there's only two because there's two that have been really popular, which is full frame. That's the one that all the professionals use most often. And then there's APS-C, which is about one and a half times smaller. There's also another one, which is a one inch sensor. Until now, it's been really largely ignored by professional photographers because it had too much noise. But with Sony's new RX series that has uh, back illuminated sensors, they've elim eliminated a lot of the noise by changing the structure of the sensor to allow more physical light in. So the purpose of today's video is to show you the difference between one inch APS-C and full frame at the exact same focal lengths, how blurry can we make the background and is there that much of a difference? So let's, let's put on the different cameras and uh, let's shoot the exact same thing and see what it looks like. And let's take that first picture. Okay, so now just make note of the bridge and see what the bridge looks like. Next, we're gonna put on an APS-C camera same thing, 200 millimeters at f4, and we'll show you what does the bridge look like. This is the APS-C format, which is in between full frame and one inch sensor, and we're showing how much depth of field you would get when shot at the equivalent focal length at f4. So this one actually I've got it at 150 millimeters because the APS-C is one and a half times smaller than the full frame. In other words, when I shoot at 150, it becomes like 200. Actually, the real number is about 135. Um, but we try to match this up as, as close as we can. I'll show you here. So let's go ahead and take that shot. Now this is full frame, 70 to 200 millimeter lens, uh, racked all the way out to 200 millimeters and at f4, and we're going to show how much depth of field compression we have at this. So this is, again, the maximum limit, and remember that we're looking for detail in the tree. All right, so to show you the difference that Aperture has on background focus, I'm just going to take you through a little tour here. Uh, let me get this down so you can see the leaves a little bit better. So I'm going to take the exposure down just a touch right there. Okay, so there's the leaves, and I'm going to scroll you through from f4.5 to 22. Okay, so let's stop there at f8, and then let's go up to f11, and then we're going further to 16, 18, and then finally 22. Okay, so let's compare f22. Look how much of the bridge you can see, right? When I take it back down to f2.8 or f4, now the bridge is completely gone. And that is what we call selective focus or depth of field compression. And that's the effect that we're looking for. Everything that a creative photographer wants comes after that f number, f4, f2.8, f1.8. And then that shows how blurry you can make the background. The second thing that affects that would be sensor size. And now let's go ahead and compare the three of them for depth of field. How blurry is the background difference between full frame, APS, and one inch sensor? <laughs> 